In this video, I'm going to add accessories to players with code. So you can award your players with different accessories or they might want to buy them or something. So the first one, I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to add this bird to the player when he enters the game. There we go. And then the second one, I made it a little more complicated, a little bit more different so that you know how to do this in different scenarios. We're going to hit this dialogue. Do you want a hat? Oh, I do want a hat. Yes, I have a hat. He removes the hat or I, the code removes the hat, puts the new hat on. And now we have two different accessories, two different ways of adding accessories. So, that, so you'll understand it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get a fresh world and get started with that. All right, so I got a new base plate here and let's get some accessories. Just so everybody's on the same page. I, from the last video, I saved off this guy. I called him Accessory Bob. And I'll put this link in the description right here. You can click on it. This will be green. It'll say get, hit the get. And then when you come over to your empty world, go to toolbox and then under inventory right here, look for my models and then you'll see Accessory Bob. I made one small adjustment from the video, from the last video. I change the bird's attachment to right collar attachment because that's more consistent with things that sit on your shoulder, All right? But you should understand that if you watched the last video, it's not that hard to do. I just basically changed shoulder to collar. Cool, and then I, had, I actually had to modify the position a little bit, but that's, that's easy enough to do. Let's go and get this bird. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna do a control D, and now there's two of them one on top of the other. Let's go ahead and pull it down to server storage. And I am gonna add this bird to players as they enter the game. The easiest way of adding an accessory, I think. All right, so we're gonna to go to server script service, hit a script, and then we're gonna call this game manager, right? Anytime we do a player added event, I usually put it in game manager. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I need a variable to server storage game colon get service server storage and then I need the template the bird template from which I will clone all birds so I'm going to say bird template server storage wait for child bird cool and now let's add it the simplest way possible we're going to say game players so that's the player service Player service has a player added event when somebody joins the game. We're going to connect that to an anonymous function, meaning I'm not going to bother naming it and breaking it out. I'm going to put it right in here and player will be passed in as a parameter, right? Or as an, yeah, as a parameter because the player added passes that in. Let's go ahead. We need the character and then we need the humanoid, but I am going to use the character appearance loaded event connect that to another anonymous function and that way this happens after player or character added you could do both but this one happens after and then we'll have a character available we can go ahead and clone our bird right here it's a good place to do it right we're gonna clone and then we're gonna get the humanoid from the char right char wait for child Humanoid, right? You probably would be all right without wait for child because a character appearance loaded happens kind of late in the game, but just, just to be sure, let's do a wait for child, right? And then we're gonna get the humanoid colon add accessory bird. That's as easy as it gets, right? Now, the one thing that we're assuming is they don't already have something on that right, right collar attachment. But we're gonna have to take care of that. We're gonna have to make this more robust, right? And then putting on having accessory Bob hand him an ex another accessory, the hat, is going to be another application. You'll have a pretty good idea how to do this stuff. But I don't wanna have the code right here because I'm gonna do checks and stuff, right? It's gonna get kind of lengthy. And I wanna be able to call from different places. So I'm gonna hit this plus sign on server script service, module script. Look at that. We're going to use another another module script. I'm going to call this ACC Utils for accessory utils. I will call this ACC lower A. That's my convention. Utils, and then 
These two names have to match. They don't have to match this, but it should make sense. All right. And now right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a function, not a local function, a function, because I want to call it from different places. ACC utils will be prepended so I can call it from another place on update ACC. We're going to pass in the character that we want the accessory on, and then we're going to pass in the item. All right? That's going to be the bird or the hat or whatever. All right? Now I want to get an attachment from the item. All right? So I'm going to say item dot handle find first child with uh, which there we go is a that's that's a hand that's a mouthful right there find first child which is a just making sure I don't have any mistakes in there attachment ah there we go so we're gonna be able to get the attachment from code but that's why your accessories have to be uh, conventional, right? They have to be the same. You can't just get creative and start adding things in different ways. You have to have some sort of convention. So I'll say for INV in pairs, we're gonna get the character and we're gonna get the children from the character because the accessory is gonna be sitting right underneath the character, right where the arms and the leg and the head and all that's gonna sit. So we'll do a, we'll do a for loop. And then we're going to only look at things. So this is like, this eye is like one, two, three, four. And this is like arm, head, accessory, hat, things like that. So we'll say, if V is a accessory, did I spell that right? No, I didn't. A-C-C-E, eh, there we go. Accessory. Then, then we care about it. Then what we want to do is make sure it's the accessory for the attachment that we're interested in. So we say if v dot handle find first child att now that's the instance of the attachment we need the name, right? So it'll be like bright color attachment, right? So if that exists, then what we're going to do is we are just going to destroy it. We're going to say v colon destroy boom now that it's gone we can add we'll say local I guess you could do that right right in the if statement Hu oh uh, no because if you don't find it you want to add it anyway so we'll say we'll get the humanoid from the char char got passed in I'll just be kind of paranoid and do a wait for child wait for child just in case he dies like right away or something Attachment, no, we don't want that. We want the humanoid, sorry. I was thinking ahead. All right, so we got the humanoid. Then we can just do our hum add accessory. And that is the item, pass the item in. So this is flexible. We can call this from a lot of different places on the server side, right? We just have to require it because it's a, it's a module script. I get a lot of um, it doesn't works when I use module scripts. Just remember that's that little Lego thing right here. You got to These are a little different. All right, cool. Now what we can do is we can just call this from where we did that custom code here. We can get rid of that, right? Paste that in there. Oh, but we don't have our ACK utils. We got to re require it. So I'll say ACK utils require game server script service ac utils cool all right so that's good we got our update we got our char and that item is going to be a bird let's just make sure that everything's working nice and the way we expect make our output window nice and big play it we got it all right no errors that was uneventful. Cool. Now you can you can add that from you could add that ACK utils from any of these touch events if you go ahead and press a button things like that. But let's make it a little tricky. Let's go ahead and get that old-fashioned dialog on accessory Bob because that is believe it or not kind of a hard way to give an accessory. We'll go to accessories Bob. We're going to go down to his head, right? 
And then I'm going to hit a D for dialog. There we go. We got dialog on his head. Right. So what do we need on the dialog? Uh, we need an initial prompt. Right. Like so when you click on him, what does he say? He says, do you want a hat? Right. Just type it right in here. It says initial prompt right there. Cool. I know that that's kind of small, hard to see. I haven't gotten clever and had a magnifying thing or anything. Let's go to the dialog, hit that plus sign on the dialog. You're going to get a dialog choice. You can do a DI to make the list small. Dialog choice. Let's call this yes. All right. So we need two things in dialog cho uh, choice. We need a response dialog and the user dialog. So the response dialog is going to be accessory Bob, what he says to me once I, once I say yes. I'm going to say, there you go. Cool. User dialogue, that's what I get to answer, right? That's one of my choices. I'm just going to say yes with an exclamation mark. Cool. Now that should pop up when we go in the game. Might as well try it. Let's bring up our output window. Good. There's a little question mark. Cool. Oh, you know, we got to get rid of his name because it's interfering here a little bit. Yes. Nothing happens, right? We got to, we got to, we got to do more code, but it works without error. You should check often. Let's go to our humanoid on accessory Bob and then go to this uh, display distance type. Make that none. That's going to turn off his name so it doesn't mess up our, uh, our little dialogue thing. Cool. So all of this happens client side when you click on it. So we need to go down to starter player and then I'm going to go starter character scripts. That's going to load this script into my character when I join the game or if I get respawned local. I'm going to say give a CC. Cool. Now I need to call this on the server side when I give my accessories. So I'm going to go to my replicated storage real quick, add a remote event so I could talk to my server. I'm going to call that ACCRE for accessory remote event. Now I get in here, I want replicated storage game get service, replicated storage so I can get my remote event. I'll just call this ACCRE in replicated storage, wait for child ACCRE. What else do I need? Oh, I need a reference to the dialogue on our accessories Bob. So I'll say dialogue, All right? We only have one, so I'm not going to name it anything special. Workspace, accessories Bob, head dot dialogue. Cool. And now let's make a little function. I'll name this one on selected, right? We're going to get a player and we're going to get a choice. So when somebody uh, selects the dialog box, we get a player and a choice. Let's go. Let's go ahead and hit, hook that up, hook that event up. So the event is going to happen from our dialog, right? We have a dialog choice selected. It's fired when you click on that little question mark thingy. We're going to connect that to on selected. Sweet. All right, so we will look at the choice and if it equals equals, uh, what is it, dialog dot yes, then we'll do stuff. You might want to have them say different stuff, right? You might want to have, instead of yes, you might want to have like glasses, hat, things like that. So you'll need that if statement, right? So this might be like hat or something. And then if you're going to go that route, when we go to R or ACCRE and we do a fire server, go ahead and pass in the accessory name so the server knows what you're doing. All right, now we can go back to the game manager, catch this event, right? Because we're sending this to the server, but it's not doing anything yet. Let's go to our game manager. And then we need to get our replicated storage, game get service, replicated storage. We need to get our ACCRE from replicated storage, wait for child, ACCRE. Then we'll go down here. 
and we'll go A C C R E. We're going to look for an on server event from the client. Connect. Let's just do it in place. Function, player, and item. All right. So we didn't pass a player, but that's if it's coming from the client, player is going to get added no matter what. And then the item is going to say hat. Remember, we wrote hat in there. So the first the first argument on the client side for the for the fire event, fire server, is going to be the hat. But when we get over here, we're going to have two. We're going to have player and we're going to have the hat. Cool. So if item equals equals hat, which it will because we only have one, then let me move this up a little bit. Uh, let's get our character. We'll say player dot character. You probably don't have to check, but let's just be paranoid. Player dot character added colon wait, right? And it's coming from our character, right? That's where we're firing that remote event off. It's in starter character script, so it's probably going to be there. But you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to make sure, right? So if char, then let's get our humanoid char wait for child humanoid and then we'll get the hat right oh we don't have a hat in server storage that's all right let's go ahead add wait for child and then we're gonna have a hat in here right we don't have a hat yet let's get a hat let's go to accessory bob here's our hat control d to duplicate and now let's drag that thing down to server storage there we go all right, now we can get it. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just clone it right in place. We don't want to get the hat itself because then nobody else is going to be able to get a hat. We want to make a clone of it. There we go. Once we clone it, then we'll go ahead and get our ACC utils. Right? This is easy enough. Colon, on, update, accessory, char, hat. Cool. Let me just take a look at accessory utils real quick. Nice. All right, so that's our module script. Here's our game manager. We add, we catch that event from the, from the client side. I think this is good. Let's play it. Man, I try to make these videos faster, but I just I guess I just talk too much. Here we go. Let's try it. Do you want a hat? Yes. Cool. There you go. All right. I think we're pretty much up and running. I will see you in the next video. I would like to save these off to a database.